Hi guys, Paul Pluter from the Paul Pluter channel and also the Archie Luxury Corporate channel. Coming to you from, uh, I'm coming to you directly from Lone Pine, Lone Pine Sanctuary in Fig Tree Pocket. Today, new segment for the Archie Luxury Corporate channel, five minutes, five minutes on your business. New segment, new segment guys. Okay, five minutes on your business. And uh, this here is a tip, which is uh, it can be applied to any business that is out there. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of uh, entrepreneurs make is, they've been in business for five minutes. Uh, they've had a business less than 12 months old, less than two years, less than 18 months, whatever. And what are they doing? They're buying, well actually they're not buying, they're leasing, leasing fancy automobiles. That's not correct. Leasing fancy automobiles. And uh, this is one of the biggest, biggest mistakes you could possibly make is uh, you get involved in business. Business is, is, is a very, very competitive thing and you've burdened the business. You've saddled your, uh, your own situation with expensive fleece lease payments. I mean, leasing an automobile is one of the most expensive ways to purchase a vehicle. It's like rent to buy furniture. If there's another way to do it, do it. It's uh, fleecing, leasing. What is it? Leasing is financing, it's financing. There ain't no free rides, I'm afraid. There ain't no free rides, whether it's uh, whether it's a Mercedes-Benz or a Chevrolet, it's, uh, it's financing. And uh, so many businesses settle themselves, sa settle, settle themselves with consumer debt and uh, car payments in the early stages. I mean, you shouldn't be looking at fancy automobiles until you're at least in the business three, four, five, six years, six years in. And you should only really be buying these said fancy automobiles after the business has done so well and uh, <clears throat> you've got oodles of cash. I mean, let's face it. Say you lease a, uh, uh, a Mercedes-Benz CLS 550, okay? That monthly payment could be used for so many things to grow the business. Ex instead of growing your obnoxious ego, Grow the business, grow the business. And the other problem is, say you're not leasing it, say you've paid cash, well, wouldn't that buy a hell of a lot of stock? Wouldn't that buy some really good stock? Wouldn't that buy some really good stuff instead of leasing your photocopier, instead of leasing all your office equipment? Wouldn't it have been better to have actually paid cash and have no commitment? So that's, um, that's one of the biggest mistakes small business proprietors make in the infancy of a business. They go out and lease a, uh, a wonderful, exciting uh, m automobile, whether it's a BMW 5 Series, a Mercedes-Benz CLS. The only thing worse than uh, leasing a, uh, a brand new Mercedes-Benz CLS uh, would be to lease a used one. That's correct, because then not only have you got horrid depreciation, but you've also got expensive repairs. Expensive repairs. And unfortunately, when you come to resell that beautiful piece of ego, uh, the buyers realize, hey, this is a seven-year-old CLS now. Um, mm, it's going to need this, it's going to need that, it's going to need that, and uh, it's going to be worth very, very little. So best advice is if you uh, have the urge, the urge, the urge to uh, buy a big ego ship, a big ego ship for your ego, put that money in the business. Put it in the business. Put it in the business. In, you shouldn't be looking at fancy automobiles for at least four or five years in. And... Um, I'm sure you could spend that money, whether it's a lease payment or whether it's cash that you've used, you could really use that money to grow your business. Instead of feeding your own ego, grow your business. I'm Paul Pluter. This is the uh, five minutes on your business on the Archie Luxury Corporate Channel.